Did I get dragged into a science fiction movie or something? That was crazy. She's talking this way more the than. Wrong thing. In my. Stars? <laughs> I've done stuff like that before. Why is March seventh just called March seventh? Attention all passengers! Attention all passengers! The Express is about to conduct a warp jump. All passengers, please gather at the main hall. Oh yeah, I say like all passengers didn't enter the main hall, like you just have to. Obviously we don't want to. I, I can just literally just close, I can literally just close the application right now. Everyone, hurry up and find a place to sit down. Try not to be like me. Always running around the express like a headless chicken. Come Damn, on, she's just right there. The final preparations Bro does not care. Bro talked about March like she's like she's not there. Wait, this is your first trip. No. <laughs> I was excited the first time I experienced a warp jump too. But I'm used to it now. Oh, Don't worry. Nowhere. You'll get used to it too. And before you know it, you'll be a mature and dependable passenger just like me. I don't think that you're a mature passenger. This man just talks huh? to right behind your back. Yeah, yeah, don't don't you dare just wake up now, cause nah, you got exposed, but I'm exposing you right here. Can you shut the fuck bro, up? Bro, like he was just talking hella shit about you, bro. I promise you, March. I'll just sit down then. The universe. The Astral Express. Yeah. Yeah? Eons. Eons? Did I get dragged into a science fiction movie or something? You know what's crazy? She's talking this way more than- the wrong thing. In my- <laughs> Stars? <laughs> I've done stuff like that before. Dang. But... It wasn't stars for me, though. It was lights. Lights? When I Why did it cut off like that? rescued from the ice, I could see clusters of stars in front of me. I reached out for them automatically, but they turned out to be the carriage ceiling lights. I have something to say real quick. Our character talked way more than Lumine and Ether. I just want to point that out. Before all this, I was stuck in a huge block of ice drifting through space. She got, she got a JoJo treatment. Anyway, they figured out a way to melt the ice and save probably me. probably mommy frozen. Who knows? I don't remember anything before that. Understandable. Who I am, where I'm from, my name. It's like everything was erased from my mind. March 7th was the day they found me, so it stuck. Oh, uh, so that's why they... You know what? M my question was actually answered was rel relatively quickly. I ain't gonna hold. Ever since then, I've been hanging out on this train and following it to whatever destination it decides to stop at. I'm hoping that one day... I can find my past. You're right. Ah, here comes the conductor. The express has reached a safe distance from the space station. We'll be jumping in about 10 minutes. Ooh. Return to your seats, please. Both of you. Things could get bumpy. Things could get bumpy. Nothing uh, will go thanks, wrong. Pom Pom. But did you really have to come and remind me? I'm not a newbie, you know. Talk well, about for me. It wouldn't be necessary, but Miss March 7th likes to challenge herself. Falls over every time. See. That's just called never giving up. <laughs> Facts. Never back down. Never what? Hello, hello. <clears throat> never back down. Never <laughs> give up. She is so determined. I won't fall over. I won't fall over. Five, four, three, two. We guys good that. Oh. So did March <laughs> fall over, or she just After did? After all those millennia. So, so we just. Is this what your Relo Six is? So, about? so, so, so we not gonna go and question like hello? Uh, I wanted to see the the result. Mm. Uh huh. So that snowy planet is our destination this time. Yes. Looks like this trailblazing expedition won't be easy. The objective is clear. Find the Stellaron responsible for the disaster and the spatial distortions, and bring it back to the Express. We'll deal with the rest. Right. Awesome! We get to work as a team again! Quick question. I'm pretty sure I'd be able to... Oh. Uh... Okay, never mind. That's what I say. Probably, or probably not, I'd be able to do a multi. 
But I, I was positive I was able to fully because I had like seven out of ten. Hemophil wants all of us to go together. As best friends expect. forever. Before you came, I never March wanted to go anywhere. Himiko would make Mr. Yang and me go with her. I feel like March just can't be trusted. I feel like that's probably why that I these see. like I don't know. You should okay. Oh no. You should find March. I'll join you two once I'm ready. <laughs> let's 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 find Mount let's find March. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even my blind ass would not yeah. Yeah, yeah. let's find March. Oh, I, I wonder where March is. I, I, oh, I wonder. Let's go find March. Oh, do you know where March is at? Oh, wait, no, she's right there. Brother. How'd it go? March. March. Could you not? March. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, we are when I ready. I first saw this planet, I thought a world covered in ice. Could it have something to do with my past? Now I can't stop thinking about it. Well? <sighs> there really is one big snowball. Yes, fairy. Hey, get your own metaphor. <laughs> <laughs> bro. Like, we said the same thing as soon as she said that. Like, bro. <laughs> she does not care. Remember, we should stay vigilant. We know very little about this world. Alright, say less. Calm down. Between the three of us, nothing will stand in our way. I mean, come on. You've got a Stellaron in your body. I have my special six-phased ice powers. And Don Hung... Uh... He's got that mysterious past thing going for him. Damn. Telling you you're not so special like that. So if creating trouble for us, they're gonna regret it. A few moments later. Too late to repent. Rules are made to be broken. Facts. <laughs> Rules just meant to be broken, man. But they'll never know. Can we talk about how how much of a baddie she is? Hold up. I'm not gonna lie. Now I just don't mind getting her. Cause she's actually like a baddie for I ain't gonna lie. But, uh, I'm just I'm, I'm I'm just saying. I'm I'm just saying. Hey, get out of there or you'll shiver to death. <laughs> Bro is stuck in there and she said get out of there. <laughs> I got this much. Uh, someone's got their head stuck in the sand. Or snow in this case. You just need a helping hand. Bro, what are you gonna do? Bro, it seems like he's about to go and just pierce him. Really necessary? He's crawling around in the snow a crime these days. I mean, surely it doesn't warrant a spearing. Ah. Uh, well then. Are you serious, uh, my brother? I'll give you some free guidance. There are ways of doing things in this profession, and you better get familiar with them. Moving in the shadows, finding the goods, pricing your stock, hiding from the guards. Bro. Bro is no, just. You. Why don't you just take us to the city? We don't really know the way. Yeah, let's city. go to the city. Already? Yeah. We haven't even started trading yet. Well, showing you the way is easy enough, Missy, but it would cost. Of course. Oh. Bro ain't playing no games. But it would be my pleasure. Kindness is Sampo Kuski's middle name. Follow me, friends, and uh, quiet. Don't want to be spotted by the guards. So why were you hiding from the Silver Main guards? Eh, yeah, we're just storing. Damn, them. she's actually a fucking baddie. I'm Our sorry. Business. If it weren't for the uncompromising nature of our civil service, then there'd be no need for secrets. So where about you guys from, anyway? I don't mean to pry or anything. I just care about my friends. No pressure. Rule number seven. Her and Kafka? Never leave a footprint. I have my own special technique called invisible snow walking. Helps me throw off pursuers in no, no time. Damn. Who are they? Uh, you remember the Silvermane guards I mentioned? That's them. Bro, they Don't look like light work. Brother. Arrest them. What did he do? It's now or never. Over to you, dear friends. I'm. I... Hey, where do you think you're? 
Bro ran off. Alright, hold up. I'm sorry about any- I'm Listen. I never thought that she could be this much of a baddie. I'm just saying. The truth of life and death revealed in a sanctuary is but a vision. That's what you know I need to go low with my characters, cause uh They ain't surviving. No interest in They are not surviving at all. Ooh. We seen the whole thing against. Oh damn! Bro, just such a bro. Really not care. Nah. Nah. See? I depart land down. Oh, I'm dead, yo! Oh, I'm so dead. Relinquish your resistance. So I'm a criminal, huh? Forget Sampo. Wait until I get my hands on you. Oh, this is crazy. Damn. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. She, bro. She is too much of a baddie, though. I'm. I know I keep saying that shit, but man. But yeah, I really do hope y'all enjoyed this video though. Uh, let me know if I should do some more. I'm planning on doing some more. So I uh, hope y'all enjoyed and I'm going to come back get my run, run back easily. Trust.